So after we have maintained the connection settings, uh, the next thing we need to do is to maintain the connector settings. Okay, so what does this customizing step do? So let's read about it. So in this customizing activity, you maintain the connector settings for the systems that are connected to access the control application, the access control app application. Okay. Now, in here, you also have an uh, a check uh, checkbox uh, for password reset service. Okay. So this is one thing that you need to remember. And then, if you have any uh, if you're connecting any third external uh, application, right, I, then you have you can also maintain attributes for those connectors, okay? So we'll take an example of uh, LDAP connector and see what it means, okay? All right, so let's close this window and execute the step, okay? Now here, what you do is you go and add your connector connectors okay again so you define two, two things here one what is the application type in this case and then in our case this is SAP and then specify whether this connector is your development system or a production system or a testing system okay so let us select development so for a production system, you have to select production there and select pass PSS, which is password self-service. So we'll see what that password self-service is when we do the ARM configuration, okay? Now you add, so this is your ECC connector. Now you add this one for S4 HANA also, okay? So again, the application type is going to be SAP. And let's say this is also our development system and say PSS, okay? Now, let's save this, okay? Put it in transport request. Now, if you have a target connector, let's say which, which is an LDAP system, for example, right? You don't have one here, but if you have an LDAP connector, then what you would do is you select Okay, the connector and then click on assign attributes to the connector. Okay, and when you click on new entries, okay. So with the help of a blog, we're going to see what those settings are. Okay, what you need to do there. All right, so So you are, you are maintaining tag connector settings and then you have a LDAP connector, right? Then you select that LDAP connector and click on assign attributes, okay, which is uh, this, this tag, this node, assign attributes to the connector, okay? Now, when you, in this part that you're seeing, you will have to give the attribute names which is coming from the LDAP system, okay? So this pieces of information that you're looking, seeing here has to be provided to you by the Active Directory team, okay? So this is not something that you have in SAP system. Your S4 HANA system, uh, you need to get this information out of uh, from the Active Directory team, okay? So this basically is a path, uh, this attribute value is a path uh, of, you know, on the Active Directory side where you have the user IDs, uh, rec user record uh, stored, okay? So you need to get that, this piece of information from uh, the Active Directory team, okay? Now, so this is one thing you need to do if, you know, you need to maintain the attributes depending on what are systems you have, okay? Especially LDAP. All right, so once this thing is set, you know, once you have maintained the connector settings, okay, you will find your list here and uh, your connectors here, basically. Now you go out. 
Okay, so the next step that you need to do is to maintain mapping of actions and target groups. Okay, so let's just see that. 